last 90 days, the federal government has posted 6,170 proposed regulations to the site, regulations.gov. Now, a bipartisan group in Congress is proposing a bill that would require an explanation of exactly how much these regulations are going to cost. Joining us now to explain is one of the co-sponsors of the bill, Republican Congresswoman Virginia Fox. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you, Shannon. Well, now, I know that by executive order last year, the president told these agencies, if you're going to propose a new regulation, you have to explain how much it costs. But I keep an eye on these, and many of them are being issued with no cost-benefit analysis. Your bill would go even further. What's the plan? It would. This would close loopholes in the bill that was passed in 1995 called UMRA, the Unfunded uh, Regulation uh, Act. What we want to do is make sure that the American public and the people who are writing the regulations know what the regulations are going to cost. Regulations are a hidden tax on the American people, on businesses, even on governments, other governments. And so what we want to do is make sure that people understand that and hopefully look for alternatives. You know, we've got a terrible debt problem, and we're all searching for ways to solve that. But one of the ways we can do it is to reduce the cost of regulations to everyone. And so many of these regulations, you mentioned a number of different places that they're going to hit, which are businesses, private businesses, but state and local governments as well. I mean, unfunded mandates that come their way, they have to comply, but somebody's got to pay for it. That's exactly right. And it's the American people who are paying for it. The UMRA bill passed in 95 with great bipartisan support then, passed the House and the Senate with huge support. Uh, I'm really pleased that we've got bipartisan support on this because both Democrats and Republicans understand that we can help solve our debt crisis by reducing the cost of regulations on the American people and, as you say, on other governments because if they're using this money for unnecessary regulations, they're not hiring teachers, they're not hiring firefighters, and so we want to uh, bring down the cost of government and allow the money to be used more wisely. Uh, it's always good to hear of anything bipartisan in Washington, and That's I know that you do have strong support on both sides of the aisle for this. Something I thought was interesting is that uh, what you're asking these agencies to do when they put out these uh, regulations or proposed regulations is not just to tell how much it's going to cost to comply with it, but also the overall impact on the U.S. economy, which is a bigger picture. That's exactly right. That's one of the loopholes that we want to close. They only have to currently talk about the direct costs, but we want them to show the indirect costs. How many jobs will be lost? Do the cost outweigh, the, do the benefits outweigh the cost? And that's the most important thing that we want to see come out of this. We're looking for more transparency and more accountability from our governments, all of our governments, but particularly at the federal level. And uh, this bill would do this. It doesn't have a catchy title. It doesn't grab headlines. But a lot of work gets done behind the scenes and quietly that can help make our government better. So it's uh, the Unfunded Mandates Information Transparency Act. UMITA, the, again, doesn't have, a, <laughs> doesn't have a great ring. I tried to work accountability in there, and we couldn't quite do it. But that's what it does, is make our government more accountable. And very quickly, we're almost out of time, but on the issue of accountability, are there teeth built into this? Are there penalties if the agencies yes. don't comply? Well, for the first time, we have judicial review. This way, and, and the agencies have to do this for all the rules. They can't circumvent it by... Uh, putting in emergency rules and letting them stay in effect. So, yes, there are teeth for the first time in this rule. All right. In this bill. Congresswoman, thank you very much. We'll keep it.